The promise of smart homes, offices, classrooms, and indeed the entire Internet of Things relies on robust sensing of the environment. There are two ways to achieve this today. One is to upgrade one's home with smart appliances. However, these are expensive and rarely talk to one another. A more flexible option is for owners to tag objects with aftermarket sensors. This adds some level of smartness, but requires many tags, which can be socially and aesthetically obtrusive. We explored an alternate general purpose sensing approach wherein a single highly capable sensor board can indirectly monitor an entire room. We started our research by building an inventory of sensors used in commercial and academic systems. We decided to include all of these sensor dimensions, but no camera, as this sensor is particularly privacy sensitive to users. Our sensor board is plug and play, uses wall power, and connects to our cloud backend over Wi-Fi. A single sensor board in a room can capture a wide variety of events. On the right, you can see featureized data streaming directly from the sensors. This faucet running is easily seen in both the acoustic channel and by our high-speed accelerometers. Here we can see data from three different motor-powered appliances. A garbage disposal, a blender, and a coffee grinder. Note how each results in a distinct sensor signal. Now the user turns on a stove burner. Note how the thermal image reveals not only that the burner is on, but what burner and how hot it is. Of course, this low-level sensor data is rarely of interest to users. Instead, we use machine learning to automatically recognize patterns of sensor activation and expose these high-level environmental events as synthetic or virtual sensors. Although virtual, they can be treated just like traditional sensor feeds, triggering user-defined functions for use by developers to build responsive applications. These basic virtual sensors can be fed into second-order sensors, able to capture higher-level inferences such as count, duration, and state. For example, a first-order towel dispense sensor can power a second-order sensor that tracks the number of towels used. With such a sensor, a facilities manager could automatically receive alerts or schedule restock requests. Or you could conserve more resources with something like a second-order water consumption sensor. But there's no reason to stop at second-order sensors. These can feed into even higher-order inferences, which can represent complex facets like tracking human activity or detecting the mechanical health of objects. For example, in the home, you could detect if a stove is left on for safety, or in an industrial setting, if a piece of equipment is malfunctioning. A system powered by synthetic or virtual sensors could even be integrated with home automation and personal assistant technologies, such as Amazon Alexa. Yeah, hi. How are you doing? Managing your sensors is made easy whether you have three sensors running in your home or 300 sensors across your entire factory floor. Our secure, highly scalable backend allows for effortless monitoring and maintenance of your sensor fleet. From adjusting the sampling frequency and gain of an individual sensor to updating the firmware across your entire network, the MITES management dashboard allows you to remotely maintain complete control of your sensors. To learn more, please visit our website at mites.io. Thank you for watching.